Hey everyone, I'm feeling a bit, shall we say, less confident the closer we get into Cataclysm launch over here. So I thought I'd share today some of my more costly investments ready for the expansion. And I guess you can take a minute and feel free to judge how you think I've done. I started doing this before, back when ICC launched, and I had around 3,000, uh, sorry, 300,000 golds of Cardinal Rubies, you might remember. I still actually have some floating around in honesty, but I did make a good profit eventually on the ones that I sold. So I've been picking things up here and there ready for Cataclysm since late TBC. Once Wrath was announced, I assumed that we would be continuing on. First up then, it's the Blades of Wizardry. Did you ever see such a great looking sword? My logic here is who is going to be going back farming these old TBC dungeons in Cataclysm now? At the time, towards the end of TBC and the start of Wrath, I was buying these for an average price of 350 gold. Right now though, these are a sky high 6 to 35,000, but I think they're going to go up even more. They have a really high sale rate at the moment, but I suspect that's just people buying them for the cheaper end for investments. Once people actually see these being transmogged, they're going to start to want them. Next then, along the same theme of transmog, I've got chromatic swords. These are actually going to be unobtainable. They look great and are a complete no-brainer for me. I prefer the part of fiery looking things, but if you're a big sword enjoyer, these should definitely be on your shopping list. You can still farm these now. They drop from a rare in Strangleform Vale. I'll put the map up. Every single time I go there, it's already been camped by multiple others that's day or night. I'm not going to make any judgments on the likelihood of these players being actual real players. I guess I can't since I'm here too, but I do wish they would just leave me alone and let me camp in peace. I purchased my chromatic swords from the auction house for around 1,000 gold each because I think they look cool and they're going to be unobtainable soon. I'm going to hold these for a while and let them become rarer and rarer. If you join um, the Discord, we've actually got a shopping list of uh, bind on equip items that will be becoming unobtainable. So it's not too late, particularly for the greens, it's not too late to pick them up and keep an eye out. Speaking of unobtainable in Strangleform Vale, no, I do not have my Swift Cillian Tiger yet. Yes, I am deeply unimpressed by my situation. Now then, I guess this is a common one. Haunted Mementos. These are from the Wrath of the Lich King pre-patch event and are now un unobtainable. I purchased these for around 35 gold each and they're currently up to about 3,000 gold. They aren't pets but they are unique, they stay in your bag and they follow you around when you're carrying one. You can't carry more than one of these so they need to be stored in a guild bank. This makes them a bit of a pain to handle so I'm hoping other people do not have too many. Meanwhile, I have a little collection of them. I'm putting these into the category of sticking it away and not thinking about it. I don't quite know what my sale price is yet for these. It also is going to be depend on where the classic realms actually run to. Mr. Pandaria was basically confirmed for spring 2025. So will they keep going and eventually catch up with retail? Or if the game just stops dead at some point, like a dead end, I wouldn't want to be left holding, would you? So this week, I've also seen a lot of speculation that classic will end after Cataclysm now. And while wow, remixes will be the way forward, even though I was certain I heard Mott being confirmed, so I am starting to doubt myself a little bit now. And this is definitely something that I'm going to be looking into further and double checking. So if I sell everything I have right now, according to the TSM data, my ledger is worth around 1.5 million gold. I'm hoping that by holding on further into Cataclysm that I can make at least 3 million out of when I do sell. I made another video showing the short-term investments that I've been making for pre-patch, so please do check that out if you're interested in making some faster gold. I'm really interested then to get your thoughts on these. Have I underestimated supply? Maybe you think I'm holding too long. It's often better to sell to the hype before something happens rather than after it has actually happened. I'll make a follow-up video in around six months where we can just check the prices together and see if I've made a good choice or a bad choice to hold through launch. In the meantime though, look out for my next pre-expansion launch video and that's going to be on glyphs in pre-patch and how you can manage your inventory if you do want to get in on them. I hope you found this video interesting today. Please do let me know if so and I'd really appreciate a like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. Thanks a lot. Bye.